I had some epiphanies recently. You know, we've been talking about uh, <clears throat> assets and, and liabilities, right? And uh, and then we also talked about uh, men and women's role in society and how uh, how gender roles are changing and everything like that. And it got me thinking, like, and, and we also talked about how mentors can be assets that eventually turn into liabilities. Uh, and relationships and virtually everything. So it got me thinking, maybe qualities and, pers uh, and personality traits and characteristics can also be uh, assets that turn into liabilities too, eventually. So, and, and uh, I've, I've been trying to like establish my, my core values and, and for my branding purposes and everything like that and get like the fans and know all the followers and every everybody on board with the same thing and it got me thinking like when I was making a list of all of these things what doesn't change from from an asset to a liability because I'm like even looking at love now as a principle love can be an asset that eventually turns into a liability I think anything that you hold on to for too long right anything that you are trying to uh, like that overspends the time that it's supposed to go can turn into that liability. I think that is. So it's it's, it's like if you don't, you know, because everything you know, accept grows. it for what it is, and, and, and like say you don't want to let go of something or whatever, because right. you like it could be your fault. You know what I'm saying? Like you you could be the one that turned it into well most yeah, likely it is. Gonna be your fault. But yeah, I think that's because like evolution and growth. That's a principle. That's a principle in life. Maybe that's. Oh yeah, that's it, yeah, that's right. You know, like, because love changes over time. And if love is stagnant, it, it, there it becomes a point where it's no longer love anymore. If it's stagnant, if it's not growing. I think that's where the whole factor of being scared to grow comes from. Like, people don't want to admit that or nothing, but uh, that's where that fear comes from to uh, elevate and to grow. Come from. What, the fear of, of death? have to keep changing yeah. people things have to keep going because people it's a comfort zone when you, you know that's I mean? ironic because it's like your fear is 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 making you die <laughs> you know what i'm saying what you fear most is evident in your life well, that's probably why they say when you let go of fear you used to begin to live type shit like yeah. you know what i'm saying all that shit. yeah or like yeah. that's that's so ironic to me i was also thinking about um uh, you know, in regards to principles and everything, uh, we were talking about Nipsey, we were talking about 6 9 uh, Tupac, and how some people stand on what they believe in as opposed to others. You know, they kind of like change what they believe in over time. Uh, we talked about Kanye. Well, changing what you believe in and withering on what you believe in is to the thing, because you know, you can, you can respectably change what you are believing just because of your growth, but then it's different when you're withering on like, say you're not standing on what you say actively in real time that you really do. That's two different things. Where do you draw a line? I, I feel you, but I'm trying to like articulate what you're saying. You know what, what I mean? Like, I can empathize with what you're saying, but how would anybody else know where you drew the line other than yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you- Who else needs to know though? That'd be the main public point that people fucked up about. Like, public it, perception is, is important, like whether we want to admit it or not. Well, that's the problem, though. It's, it's not. It's not. It's a major factor of why people do what they do and all of that, but that's the problem. People need to be... I feel like people need to be worried about themselves. Yeah. When you understand yourself, and if you understand yourself, and that, that that's what keep you... If you only... If you keep concentrating on your self-growth and where you are in your, inside only... You're gonna be on the track, but then if you start mixing it with what people think and you're gonna be going up, down, and you're gonna be doing all this, it ain't gonna even be a constant growth because you only know where you really are. But then, I mean, it's cool to know what people are thinking they're perceiving just because you're you can be conscious of what they're thinking you are in society, but that doesn't really matter like that much as far as it should lead what you're doing. I feel what you're saying, and me, I personally agree with what you're saying. 
But then I come back to assets and liabilities. If society perceives you to be a liability and you threaten their way of life, then that's when they take you out. So that don't mean change what you're doing. It's I, good to I be. Agree. It's good to I be. I agree. Now, if you know that, I then you shit. know you will know how to move. That don't mean you know what I'm saying. You can move slicker. That's just like the conversation we said with Kendrick. How we think Kendrick is just moving slicker than Pop. Yeah. Because of what Pac did, you know what I'm saying? That don't mean not do it at all. But he is that means conscious, move better. He is conscious of the public's perception of him, though. That's what I'm saying. Him. That's why I keep saying it. it's cool to be conscious of it. It's not cool to have it. Oh, don't let oh, it lead your decision. Okay. Nah, that's exactly what I said, though. Okay. But and and that's what that's what I'm saying. It's cool to know that yeah. and to be conscious of it, because then you can to have a point of reference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I feel that. Also. Uh, yeah, I feel like that pretty much so because we yeah we have a mutual understanding on that point. Uh, no, he, he don't give a fuck about what people think about. It. Okay. No, I think he do, but yeah. then again, yeah, yeah, he play a game where he don't. Yeah. He play a game where he don't. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't make any any revenue. He wouldn't be generating funds. But at a, at, a, at a point at, at a point he don't, but then he do. Right. You know. It's, it's like what you said. He's conscious of it. He's aware of it, but he don't let it dictate his life. Because he even saying, keep it real, like he want people to like him, he wanted people to like me. He, he, he hey, really did want to like Even Kanye. Them. Even if like the blood and all that, he wanted that to go right. He wanted them to like him. He wanted them to accept him. Right. He wanted that. Right. It just didn't and then he had to play his part. And even Kanye too. Yeah. What you mean? Like, he could say, like, he, he could act out and everything, but he, he wants to this, this public perception of him where he don't give a fuck type shit. Uh, I feel. You know, because if he didn't, want that image yeah, of him yeah, to yeah. be out there he wouldn't project like he, as hard as he does yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the I best the natural piece that you got, gotta not give a fuck because you gotta right. continue to, to, to be you right. and if you is so often with everybody else do you gotta have a not give a fuck to you but then like you said it's like that point of reference like <laughs> you gotta know how far you off with all your shit like and then just to, just to know like okay because he know what he doing he, he he's 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 supposedly being the futuristic one, you know what I'm saying? So he he knows it's gonna be look different and be different and um, he's accepting that shit but that's good shit. That's that's really interesting. Yeah, I'm storing that. It's going away in my database. My file and everything, pulling that out. Yeah, you didn't see this coming.